welcome to Collin College. My name is Brittany Cortez and I'm the Outreach Coordinator for campus. Today we are going to give you a tour of our technical campus, which just opened in August. So it's one of our brand new campuses. It can hold about 7,100 students. Some of the programs that you would see here are gonna be construction, HVAC, welding, and those are just to name a few. The really cool thing about all of these programs is they are geared to get you into the working world in two years or less between the associate's degrees and the certificates that we have. All right, so the first stop is going to be the info desk. This is usually your first stop when you're coming to any of our Collin College campuses. They have informational brochures and pamphlets about all of the different programs that are on this campus. Our bilingual front desk staff is very knowledgeable and can point you in the right direction to get you started on this campus. So if you are lost and need help finding your way, I would definitely recommend stopping here. All right, so directly behind the information desk is going to be our student enrollment services. This is meant to be a one-stop shop for students. So you can come right to this area and hopefully get all of your questions answered. So our college and career counselors can help you with anything admissions related. So turning in transcripts, turning in those immunization records, advising, which is also college and career counselors can help you with your degree planning and picking out your classes. And then financial aid can help you pay for those classes. And then the student enrollment services is open late on Wednesdays, so they'll be open until seven to help service our students. Next stop on our tour is going to be career services. We offer tons of resources on campus that are free for students. Um, and so career services is going to be one of those resources. They are going to help transition you into the working world and helping you find that first job after you're done with your education. So everything from resume critiques to mock interviews, they're also doing workshops to help students and sometimes they can help you find either a job either on campus or off campus. Access is also another one of our resources for students. So access is going to be considered the disability concerns. So if you are getting any kind of special accommodations for testing or any of your classes in your high schools, then you might want to check out our access department um, because they're going to be the ones who can help you with getting any of your extended testing time or if you need something in large print, or if you need a sign language interpreter. Those are just a couple of examples of some of the things that they can offer you. The next resource that I wanted to talk to you about was our counseling services. And so counseling has extended hours, they also have emergency hours, and they are really just here to help support you. So if you're feeling anxious or stressed, or maybe you just need a little extra support to talk to, then counseling services is going to be there to help you. And they are also offering workshops to help you deal with just everything being a college student. So next stop on our tour of the technical campus today is going to be our Veterans Resource Center. So Collin College is a very military friendly campus and so we are here to offer any kind of support that we can think of to our veterans. So each campus has a dedicated Veterans Resource Center um, and there's usually a dedicated person here who can help connect our veterans to resources both on campus and off campus. There's also a dedicated study space and just a place for our veterans to hang out. So we are on the ground level of our A building. This is where our testing center is. So this is where you can come and take your TSI, or if you're a student on campus and your professor puts a test in the testing center, this is where you would be to come and take it. So if you know you're gonna miss a class, if you talk to your professor beforehand, they're more likely going to put the test in the testing center instead of just giving you a lower grade. The other thing about testing, and especially with the TSI, is that we do need test scores for placement purposes for the application. So if you don't have ACT or SAT scores, once you've applied to Colin and you have a valid email address, you can come here, take the TSI, and then we can use those scores to determine if we can put you in college level classes or if you need some of those refresher classes instead. This is our Cougar Cafe where students can get breakfast or lunch. You can also get your Starbucks fix over here at our Cougar Cafe. Um, the Cougar Cafe also has your typical pizza, chicken, hamburgers, anything that a college student would need, plus lots of different snacks. Okay, so we are now on the second floor of our Building A for our technical campus, and right behind me is going to be our Center for Academic Assistance. This is another one of those free resources that I was telling you about earlier. So here is where you're gonna have the writing lab, the math lab, and any tutoring for any of the subjects that you might be needing a little bit of extra help with. So it's a really cool way to get to know your professors a little bit better and get some extra help with some of your subjects in your math and writing. Um, appointments are required for the Center for Academic Assistance. 
here is our campus library for the technical campus. You can obviously get any kind of books that you would need from the library for any of your classes or just for fun. Um, you can also borrow laptops and calculators. You would just come right here to our circulation desk and just tell them what you need. Um, the other cool thing about our libraries is that we do have 3D printers and these are open for students to use. You would just come in and say, hey, I want to use the 3D printer and then they will work with you to get everything printed. The other really cool part about this library is that it's so peaceful and the views are really cool. Now we're going to start kind of talking about some of the individual programs that we have at the Technical Campus. So just past the Center for Academic Assistance, still on the second floor of the A building, is where we have some of our health science labs. So again, these health science departments are geared to get you into the working world in two years or less, whether it's a full associate's degree or just a couple of our stackable certificates. So some of the health sciences programs that we have are going to be CNA, EKG, phlebotomy, medical assisting, and rehabilitation aid. These are considered selective admission programs, so that means you would apply to Colin, do a couple of things, usually take a couple of extra classes, and then you would apply separately to those specific programs. A background check is included, just an FYI, um, but the big thing about these programs is that you are going to get a ton of hands-on experience. So we want you to be very well prepared to be able to go into the working world and represent Colin, and then do a good job with what you're doing. So now that we're done with our admin building A, we're going to walk across to our trade bar D. All right, so we are officially in our trade bar D. We're on the first floor. We are in one of our automotive labs. And so the great thing about automotive is, again, it's a two-year program geared to get you into the working world in two years or less. So some of the things that you would learn from our automotive technician programs is you are going to learn how to work in, um, whether it's a dealership or a tire and lube shop or some kind of independent shop and just working with all of the tools that you would see in those shops. So as we're walking through, you'll see all of the blue toolboxes. These are fully stocked. Students are not required to bring any of their own tools. They are all provided here for our students to use. So you'll see all of the blue toolboxes that are fully stocked with everything that you would see in either a dealership or some type of shop. The cool thing is that the retail manufacturers will give students a pretty good discount if you do want to go buy your own tools. We have partnered with Toyota and Mercedes so that our students are prepared to work in their dealerships. Both Toyota and Mercedes have donated some of their vehicles so that our students will have actual experience working on those types of cars and learning what it takes to be in the dealerships. So some of the things that you're gonna learn with automotive is gonna be the brake repair, flat tire repair, we have the lift bays where you're actually getting into the cars. Um, and then in the collision section, we have our body shops and our paint booths. All right, so here we are in our Collision Technology Center. This is where students can get different industry certifications such as the ASE certification and the ICAR certification. Um, so the really cool thing is that with the paint booths, which are right over here, you will actually learn to work on both the old technology and the new technology. So that way you know what is going on and when you get into your repair shop and get into your first job, you know exactly how to use both sets of technology and you're not surprised by anything. All right, so this is our computer-aided drafting and design department. So here is where you're going to use special software to create those blueprints and plans and schematics for the different structures and different buildings that you see all over the place. So you'll be able to work with the 3D printers and print the blueprints. And then this is where you're gonna to learn to be either a designer or a CAD operator or some type of architect or engineer. All right, so we are in our shared lab space for our construction department. So we have actually moved over to our trade bar C, um, and this is where all of our construction departments are. Um, and then there was the CAD department upstairs. And so here, this is a shared space. So some of our students and our faculty members actually built this tiny little house that you see here. So some of the departments and programs that we have for construction is gonna be construction management, construction safety, electrical, and plumbing and carpentry. So with this one space right here, we can have all of those different departments collaborating on one project. Again, the goal is to get you as much hands-on experience as you possibly can, so that way you can go out into the working world and be able to work on your jobs and then know exactly what it is that you're doing. Okay, so all of the tools that you would need for any of our construction, electrical, plumbing, any of those types of programs would be provided to you while you're a student here on campus. So you're not expected to pay, purchase or buy any of those tools. Hilti has actually donated quite a few of those tools for our students to use. And then Hilti and a few of the other manufacturers are offering discounts for our students to be able to purchase their tools once they're done with our programs. 
We are in our Trade Bar B building, and this is going to be our HVAC department. Again, just wanted to stress that these programs are meant to get you into the working world in two years or less. So there are lots of stackable certificates that are industry recognized, so that helps look really good on your resume so that you can go out and get into the working world as quickly as you possibly can. So here for HVAC, you are going to get prepared for both residential and commercial work. You'll be able to sit for both state and national exams and the certifications. Um, and then some of the certifications you can sit for would be the air quality, the green control, automotive, and then preventative maintenance. All right, so we're still in our B building on our first floor, and this is gonna be our welding department. Again, one of those applied science degrees with stackable certificates so that you can get into the working world in two years or less. So this is a good example of one of our Bay areas. So you'll learn how to do entry-level welding, gas welding, and then lots of different welding technologies. We are in our Trade Bar B building. This is on the second floor. We're at our Biomedical Equipment Technology Lab. This is where you're going to learn to install, repair, and maintain the medical equipment that you would see in hospitals and doctor's offices. So a couple of examples of the equipment would be the ventilators, the anesthesia machines, even the hospital beds. You would learn to work on all of those. All right, so this is our industrial automation department. This is where you're going to learn to install, repair, and maintain the equipment that's used in factories like Amazon, Mary Kay, FedEx, any of those large distribution places. So the other cool part about the program is the robotics lab. So you would learn to actually use the robots that are used in those large distribution areas. The Electronic Engineering Technology Program also uses those same robotics labs to help our students. These are the students who are going to keep the technology that we use every day working correctly. They will build, test, service, and repair electronics, including programming and designing functions for the electronics industry. Okay, so still on our Trade Bar B on the second floor, this is gonna be our computer networking department. You are going to learn different CompTIA, Cisco, Microsoft certifications. These are all industry recognized certifications which can help you get into the working world when you are done with them. There are also multiple associates degrees such as infrastructure systems and integrated technologies and wireless departments all within our computer networking areas. Okay, so we are on the ground level of our Trade Bar B. This is actually where our bookstore is. So we are Barnes & Noble affiliate. So the cool thing is that if you find something online that is cheaper and it's also a Barnes & Noble affiliate, then they will price match. So that's awesome. Um, the bookstore is where you're gonna be able to find any of your books, obviously. But then there's also all of the cool call and swag that you can find, any kind of school supplies that you would need, you can find in here, whether that's pens, pencils, or some type of technology, calculators, or computers. And then there's obviously all kinds of snacks in here so that you can keep yourself awake so you can go to class. That concludes our tour of our technical campus. Thanks everybody for coming. We hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you soon. Bye.